And they're off in the Queen Elizabeth II Challenge Cup presented by Dixiana. There's Gina Romantica, McCulick in the opening strides to contest the pace. Bella Bell between that pair and Paris Peacock far outside. These four line up across the course and Paris Peacock is moving forward along with Bella Bell. Bella Bell to the inside, Paris Peacock to the outside. These two go at it for the lead now. McCulick going to back away into third. Break of three lengths back to Gina Romantica in fourth. Nearly five more back to She's Gone. California Angel is last heading into the turn. Paris Peacock the leader. Paris Peacock moves by, gets over to the rail, leads it by a length and a half. Bella Bell goes second by a length. McCulick out from the rail third ahead there's Gina Romantica though moving by to take third and now to challenge for the second spot that'll relegate McCulick back into fourth position she's gone as fifth and California Angel is last of the six running just over five lengths from the front 23.66 for the quarter 48.22 for the opening half mile midpoint of the backstretch Paris Peacock is the leader Paris Peacock leads it by a length and a half Bella Bell goes second a length Gina Romantica third by just a neck McCulick is fourth up on the outside into the far turn She's gone against the rail, is in fifth. Four lengths from the front. California Angel still last. Back up front, Paris Peacock, the leader. Bella Bell still second. A length separates the top two. Gina Romantica along the rail in third. Now, Peculik starts to swing toward the outside. She's fourth. Now, challenging for third. Still four lengths from the lead. Quarter mile to go. Paris Peacock to catch. Paris Peacock leading Bella Bell, who moves up on the outside. Here's Bella Bell coming after the leader, and Peculik tries to join them. Gina Romantica looks toward the inside. California Angel is still fifth. Here's Gina Romantica moving through an opening down toward the inside to challenge Bella Bell. McCulick third. Gina Romantica in front. Gina Romantica with the lead. She's got it a length and a half. She's got it by two. She's got it. Gina Romantica wins the Queen Elizabeth II Challenge Cup presented by Dixiana in 1 minute 48.2 seconds. The official winner of Keeneland's featured ninth race, 39th running of the Queen Elizabeth II Challenge Cup, presented by Dixiana, grade one. Number two, Gina Romantica, owned by Peter Brandt, trained by Chad Brown, Flavian Pratt, the jockey. Gina Romantica, three-year-old filly by Into Mischief, out of Special Me by Unbridled Song, bred in Kentucky by Mockmer Hall, Kerry Brogdon, and Craig Brogdon. Keeneland, $1 million September yearling, Gina Romantica, one minute, 48.2 seconds for the nine furlongs over the firm turf. Now the trophy presentation for the Queen Elizabeth II Challenge Cup presented by Dixiana. Bill and Donna Shively representing Dixiana present to the connections of number two, Gina Romantica. Gina Romantica picking up a grade one in the Queen Elizabeth II Challenge Cup Stakes presented by Dixiana at the place that it all started. A million dollar Keeneland September yearling from a few years back. Chad Brown back here with us in the turf course and Flavian Pratt. Uh, it seems like a pretty straightforward trip that she had. Was saving ground one of the biggest keys to the run here today? Yeah, she broke really well. I, I actually uh, was hoping to, to make the lead, and uh, but the, the pace was fair, so I got myself tucked in and uh, she relaxed well and uh, really kicked home well when it was time to make a move. At what point did you know it was time to make that move? Uh, once I finally got the gap. Uh, now turning for home, I got a good gap and I uh, squeezed on her and she responded really well. Flavian, well done. Thank you very much. A fifth win in the QE2 Challenge Cup Stakes, this time presented by Dixiana for Chad Brown. What was the difference today versus her, her most recent race up in New York, Chad? Yeah, I mean, getting her out there in distance a little more, and she just has more experience on the turf, and uh, she caught a clean break. I thought Flavian rode a terrific race, and uh, she proved that uh, she can get the extra distance and step up with top-class fillies. What does it take to get a filly to peak like this at this time of the year? <laughs> a lot of patience, a lot of plan B and C with a horse we first thought was a dirt horse, and I want to thank Liz Crow and her team for picking the horse out, and born and raised locally right in uh, Lexington at McMur Hall, and a Keeneland graduate, you know, where we've had so many great horses that we bought here and you know five Queen Elizabeths this is probably the most memorable obviously with the recent passing of the Queen what an honor even to participate in the race but to have such success in it we're just uh, really lucky to work with these horses well, congratulations to you and Mr. Brandt thank you